It all starts with a dead girl. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. The girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened, this scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. If they only knew. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them. To ignore their calls. Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. My oldest family heirloom. 
As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. Yeah. I used to have a thing for them. Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. Jack's room. It's like he never... Damn it. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack... He didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Come on, Jack, where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. There you are. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Time to say goodbye. Looks nourishing. Here you go. What's your face? Glad to see you're still kicking around. I can't believe it's all still here. Interesting. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. Yeah, who doesn't? Jack's in the prep room. should be in the office.
Here it is. Not sure if I'm ready for this. Hey, Jack. I got your special clip. No. Where's your tie? Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. But am I? people read the signs it's closed You felt it too, huh? And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Oh, where is that darn notebook? I'm gonna be late! I need to find that. Marianne? Mary Hannah, are, are you are you crying, my child? I it's fine, Jack. Now you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. Where is that? Thing? Listen, Jack. Should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh no, no! I, I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just what? let it go. Uh, it's not important. You, 
You are crying. What's wrong, dear? Oh, and why is it so cold in here? Where is that shh, 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 shh. Huh? It's okay, and, Jack. Uh, it's okay. My sweet little Marianne. <laughs> what would I ever do without you? <laughs> Jack. Huh? Don't worry about it. Uh, it's time to get some rest. Oh, Marianne. Yeah? No. Oh, I, I, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, I, I promised myself once I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Uh. <laughs> Risky stuff, then. Huh? All right? All right, Jack. Now, get some uh, rest. I need, no. Yes, yes. Be, be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But, no. I was the only one. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... I... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh -huh. <laughs> listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, oh. there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Neva Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Shit.
and off I went, on nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. The front gate was locked up tight. I needed to find another way in. Anyone home? I guess not. Hello? Thomas? You want to keep me out, Neva? They're gonna have to do better than that. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Until one day it just... stopped. And so, an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know, the usual. this old thing here. Oh, what a mess. People can be such bastards sometimes. No wonder history keeps biting us in the ass. Huh. Hello. What's this?
Looks like an old fort. Might be my way in. Something happened here. If a place had a story to tell, well, I guess I was there to listen. The place felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely, fragile, waiting for someone to embrace it. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world? In any case, I figured I could use it. Energy's energy, right? <laughs> oh, so that worked. Good for you, Marianne. These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. So there I was, existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. I've seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. No, 
definitely something. Trust me, you made the right call sending me. Yes, it's only a matter of time. Even the objects here had auras. When I touched them, I could sense their stories. Words, images, feelings left behind. Hello? Anybody in there? Locked. Obviously. There's gotta be another way. Shit. The handle's missing. Maybe I could replace it with something. Huh? Ah. I think there's a broken window up there. If only I could reach it. What's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? Doubling as a spare bedroom, apparently. Hope you don't mind if I, uh, pop your trunk. Not much here. Although... This could come in handy. Ow! Shit! What the hell? No one here. began the great dumpster heist of 1999. I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. You better be worth it. It's true. The Neva Massacre. I need to find this Thomas guy and get the hell out of here.
Hello? Anyone? Thomas? You there? Hello? Thomas? Easy, Marianne. It's just a good old-fashioned haunted hotel. Calm your ass down and answer the bell. I did, didn't I? You look real scared. <laughs> I I'm sadness. Marianne. Sadness. Is that your name? I mean, you seem pretty cheerful to me. Well, it's what I remember. My friends used to call me by a different name. But... I don't remember what it was. Your friends. Oh, yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. Uh, but, but they're all gone now. Did something happen to them? Mm, uh, 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 I, I don't really want to talk about it. That, that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? <laughs> You wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. I can imagine. This place must have been... Oh, yes. So busy. People coming and going all the time. <laughs> Always someone to play with. Must have been nice. It was. Not anymore. So, tell me, what happened? Uh, I, I remember. People stopped coming. Uh, only a, a few of them stayed. But they became very sad. Very angry. They might hurt you. <laughs> Thanks. That I can take care of myself. Hey, I was wondering, have you seen... Marianne? <gasps> yes. Uh, would you play with me? Just for a little while. It, it, it's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay, okay. But I need your help first. Yes. Uh, yes! <gasps> Anything, Marianne! I for a man. Thomas, do you know him? Uh, let me think. Uh, I've heard that name before. Uh, so Take your time. Uh, oh, yeah. The second floor. We can look there. Come on. Hurry, oh, Wait. 
I can't go that way. Damn. I need to get up there somehow. Hey. An elevator. Might as well see if it works. Sadness. I wished I knew her real name. Shit. Okay, Marianne, just take a deep breath and... Let go. Gotta move fast. An out-of-body experience. It's like taking a plunge into nothingness. Stay under for too long and it just pulls you in. Now get your ghostly ass back and power up that elevator. she go huh what is Sadness? Okay. Not getting through here. Shit. I didn't even know I could do that.
Yes. I'm working on it. Yes, I know. I just... Yes. I understand. Just give me some time. A few days. You'll get what you want. Ugh. That voice. I don't know why, but it gives me shivers. Looks like the only way. Great. This room, it feels cold. Memories of grief, loneliness. Some objects soak up moments from the past. Just squeeze in the right spot and let it pour out. Ah, sunflower weary of time. For my favorite nurse. Oh, Mr. Tarkovsky, you shouldn't have. Please, it's the least I can do for all the good work you do around here. Huh. An actual happy memory. So there's more to this place than just doom and gloom. An old prescription. I know these drugs all too well. Shit, there are thousands of them. I'm gonna need more energy to get through. <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Useless old hag! Why would he care any more than the others? <laughs> it's more than grief. More than despair, this letter crushed her spirit. Disturbingly satisfying. You... <laughs> I know you're there. Wish I had the strength. 
to cut you out. You don't deserve to exist. You're nothing! There have been times when I thought about ending it all. But I was too afraid that a part of me would go on, trapped on the other side. Forever. This could be useful. The light of a memory strong enough to defy this place. You want me to read you another one, darling? Oh, look at this mess! Don't worry, I'll clean you up in no time. I'm here for you, my love. This man, Tarkovsky, he ended up as her patient? Sadness?
Old invoices, outdated documents. Wonder why someone put them out here. Manager, huh? Marianne! Oh, sadness. We gotta stop meeting like this. I told you to follow me! Take it easy, sad. This place is huge. It's easy to get lost. Just, just stick with me. Okay. I'll stick like a tick. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> This, Thomas Rekovich. What? All right. Listen, hon. You said you remembered someone named Thomas. Was it Thomas Rekovich? Was he the manager here? I, uh, I guess. You think he stuck around? I'm not sure. There was an old man here, very recently, I think. Oh. And you think it was Thomas? Oh, I don't know. Old men all look the same, all wrinkly and all blah. Hey, that's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he's still around, I've got an infestation to report. Marianne! Uh, I feel... Oh, uh, I don't think we should be here. It's okay, Sadness. Look, there's no one... here. Sadness? It all hit me as soon as I entered the room. Anguish. Fear. Longing. I could instantly tell there was more to that clock than met the eye. Ah, uh, locked. What the hell happened here? It still works. Someone's been using it. Too small to fit a door. Hmm. Someone jotted this down recently. Burn marks? Broken glass and... Is that salt? My senses jolted as I touched the phone. I could tell it had been used recently. To call me. Grand opening, I assume. Hey, is that the first secretary? They must have had some big plans for this place. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, figures. There's gotta be a way to power it up. as far as it goes. There. An imprint. Is that... Thomas? As I moved the clock hand, I realized it was a junction between realities. It's rare, but I'd seen it before. No. Don't do it. I can't. We... must. Something's wrong. It's coming. There! 
Looks like a passage. A spirit well. I could absorb some of that energy. for another dive. Oh, gotta check the wire. I'd hate to get stuck in there. Someone tried real hard to keep this place a secret. Wonder what's in here on the other side. Let's see if it worked. Okay. Let's get the rest of me in there. Ah. Uh, oh, I'll never get used to this. This isn't funny. Sadness? Keep it together, Marianne. Let's see what's in here. Nope. Doesn't work. <sighs> Hope he's not using it as a textbook. I could sense something stirring behind that symbol. Like a gust of wind moving a curtain. Ugh. I hate to think what kind of photos need this much secrecy. Okay, I know how this works. I need three liquids to develop the photo. Looks like there's a train missing. That's one. Two more to go. This should come in handy. Okay, that's all of them. Suppressing, huh? Not sure I like the sound of that. window. Now it's overexposed.
What the hell? <laughs> Who's there? Are you all right? Don't. Don't. Look at me! Not a fan of light, huh? Fucking figures.
Most people spend their whole lives seeing only a fraction of our reality. Lucky them. I have spent my whole life looking beyond the edges of our reality. Even as a child, I saw things that would break a grown man. Eventually, I grew into it. It became my normal. But that thing, it was anything but normal. I've never encountered anything like this. This ravenous. I felt lost. I came to Neva looking for answers and all I got was more questions. What was that monster? Who was Thomas? And what did he want from me? I woke up with icy water in my veins. I wanted nothing but to get out of there. To just get up and run until my legs give out, until my lungs collapse. But I knew I couldn't. It wouldn't have solved anything. And besides, sadness needed my help. Huh? Is someone there? Merry and happy. You're okay. Sadness? Is that you? Are you okay? What was that thing? Hello? Fine. Richard. Richard? No, Sadness. The man I'm looking for is named Thomas. Who's Richard? He's the day room. Day room? Are you trying to show me the way? First Thomas, then Richard. Before I knew it, I was looking for a bunch of strangers. At least Sadness was still with me, in a way. Is that? Oh God, it's everywhere. How many people died here?
Let me be frank. This case is problematic. My superiors want it to go away. I want it to go away. You can see how your statement complicates that? Comrade? I... Yes, I understand. Some things don't just go away. They stick. They echo. The nurse. She did it. She killed them all. It was like something possessed her. Is that really what you want us to put on record? It's what I saw. The nurse. But... How? Why? Cover your nose. Try not to look at him. The sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this place. Ah, uh, Definitely didn't need to feel that. Locked. Hey, Marianne. You look like shit. Are those bolt cutters? Might be useful. If only I could reach him. Whoa! Sadness? How did you... Ah! Shit! Well, that's my seven years bad luck. Thank you. 
fine. I I'm sure they're here somewhere. No, no. Bernard wouldn't do that. He's nice. Ugh, she's talking to herself again. What a freak. Hey, don't talk about her like that. Show me something. What the hell? Snowdrop, huh? Why does that sound familiar? As I got closer to the mirror, I felt a slight tug in my pocket. I could tell there was more to that figurine than just carved wood. I can feel it calling out to me. It was the first time that it ever happened. I touched the mirror and crossed over to the other side. Uh, what? What the hell is this place? Just like I was. I knew his name, but somehow that wasn't enough to send him away. It was like a part of him was missing. where those bolt cutters are. So close, and yet so in a different reality. A 
spirit will. I could use some of that energy. All these people, they weren't just killed. Their spirits were ripped apart, broken beyond repair. Maybe I can find the one Bernard's missing. I need to look around. Burn, you little fucks. This was yours, wasn't it, Bernard? It's about time you got it back. I'm sorry you had to go through all this. It's time for you to find peace. Bernard. Thank you. Huh. It kind of looks like the one I used to get through the mirror. Feels like it, too. between worlds. There was no escaping it. There's those bolt cutters again. Gotta be a way to reach them. Great. Another mirror. New details have emerged. The situation may be more complicated than we expected. No time to explain. You'll get the full report once I get back. Just leave it to me, comrade. Very meticulous of you, comrade. Locked. Oh God. What now? Oh no, there's more of them. Get out of me. What has it done to you? No names, no faces, no way to help torn apart. Just like Bernard.
What are you? Stop! Ah! Ah! This is it. This is where he died. Okay, I still need his name. If only I could see the other side of this place. Some sort of a conference room. I gotta go. The voting's about to start. You know what they say. If you're early, you're on time. No, I mean right now. I can hear them gathering across the hallway. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know how it went. That voice. That's the guy. An attendance list. I'll bet the name I'm looking for is here on this page. But which one is it? I can't believe they sat me across from Boris. I don't care whose nephew he is. He's just a sexist pig for all I care. And late, as always. Boris. That's the guy he was talking about. Seat number nine. This is it. The man I'm looking for. This is where he died. That's it. Nicholas. Okay, Nick. Let's get you out of here. One to go. Better get to it.
nothing here. At least, not in this world. Just a bit longer. I'll get you out, I promise. There we go. Getting close. That woman was here. Oh. She was a ballerina? This room has Guy written all over it. In big sloppy letters. Nice card. Was Vivienne one of your stars? Okay, last one. I can barely feel my wrist. I don't care. I just want to go to bed. I need to be alone. There. That's her room. Someone couldn't even let her have her privacy. Vivienne? Just Vivienne? No. Probably just a stage name. The artist formerly known as Vivienne. This is where it happened. 
all the places. You? What are you? No! Get out! Ah! No! Uh, no, not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. And still no name. There's gotta be something. Okay. Let's find out who you really were, Vivian. Huh. The page was torn out. I can't make out the numbers. Partial numbers. One of these must have meant something to her. A bunch of numbers, some would say. But I sensed there was a lot more to them. Oh my god, Ellie! I thought you were... No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? But... Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. Ellie... She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. You called the other one Ellie when you were talking on the phone, so... Tori! It's you! The real you. That's your name. It made sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be. I'm not gonna lie, it felt good, putting that curse of mine to good use. Moments like that used to keep me going. Now, I'm not sure anymore. You can be free now, Tori. Thank you. Thank you. You did it, Marianne. Sent them away. To a better place, I hope. Hell, anywhere is better than here. Will you just let me pick you up already? Fucking finally. Time to get back to the day room. This place. This is where it started. Hello, my love. It's your favorite nurse. Are you in there? Even the you left. 
I hope so. Because I want you to feel everything. The nurse. It got to her first. But why? I'd never felt darkness like that before. That thing had been there. It was where it made its first kill. Where it tasted death. And liked it. So worth it. I love you, bolt cutters. Kind of sounds like a spy name. Cutters. Or a movie star, like in a movie you don't use your real name for. Yeah. Spy name it is. Okay, Mary. Let's see what Sadness wanted me to see. I hope she's all right. All right, here we go. Almost got me. What the hell is it? And it came from shame, from helplessness, from rage. Rage? It's like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, j just like the others. I won't let it hurt you, I promise. One of your friends. Uh, no, but he was smart. Maybe he could help you. He was smart. Wait, is he? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. I remember he, he became hollow, like a puppet. He. Uh, oh. I don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No. Don't tell them. Well, it, it's don't okay. tell anyone. You don't have to tell me. But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No. 
No, Marianne. The sadness. Not ever again. Why did you bring me here? It was then I realized there was something she wanted me to see with my own eyes. Richard? Are you there? Ah, uh, locked. Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... All right. I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what Sadness said? Sheet of music. Well, at least part of it. There's a Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lillian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Uh, why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lillian, I, I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends?
can show me a way out of here. Reminds me of my childhood. Uh, at least the good parts of it. But the bad parts, they're always there, aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that, don't you? You're special. Her voice, is that sadness? Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? Richard, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. So, he brought him here. Hmm. Wonder who he meant by them. be all the pieces of the score now. That's how you found him? Yes. He was just lying there. He, uh... Mr. Eckert? I, I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just... Uh, need a moment. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he... deserved it.
Oh, Richard, my arms are getting tired. You've been drawing me for hours. Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the ferocity of adult lives. Richard. I'm getting a weird vibe from him. There's grief, sorrow, and something else. Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here, I bought it especially for you. Oh, a ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Here, let me... Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Ah, what was that? It's like something stirred inside him. Hey, time! It feels... cold. What have you done? Never felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me. It wanted to show me something. It's all falling apart. What? Yes, I know. No, I need to be sure. There's got to be something around here. You want what? Fuck! <sighs> Look who finally decided to let me out of my cave. And only when you need my help. Surprise. Surprise! Okay, you know what? I'm not in the mood. Just tell me what you see. Come on. Come on. Yes. 
I can feel it. Okay. It's around here somewhere. Oh, well, that's real fucking specific. Hey, I'm trying to help here. Well, you know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, Christ. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. You know that. Well, screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? There. There. Where? What? What? You building tension? Grab the fucking thing! Would you shut up? Like he's obsessed. What is he? What have I done? We couldn't have known. I let him into my home. He was like a father to me. How could he do this to her? Fucking bastard! Who could he? I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? We wait. And when he comes back? Oh, just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, tiger. Remember what's at stake here. Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will kill him. Thomas, I wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? Did you do it, friend? Did I? What? My daughter. My 13-year-old daughter. I entrusted her to you. Thomas. Did you do it? I... I don't... I found the sketchbook. Forced myself to look through it. Cover to cover. Every single fucking page! Tell me I didn't hurt her, Richard. Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I... It wasn't me, Thomas. 
You have to understand. There's a sting inside of me. Shut up. Oh, oh, oh. You, you have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas, I'm so sorry. She's my daughter! <laughs> I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you did. Knowing she was here. Knowing what she means to me. Thomas, I, I swear I'll go away. You'll never... Wait. Not here. No. Let me out. Let me out. Let me... Richard, this is your world. Show me what you're hiding. Is this where it started, Richard? The place that broke you? Made you what you are? Then here, it awoke on that day when she came to it. It took over, made itself at home. Loss, hatred, grief. This place reeks of them. Something terrible happened here. It changed Richard forever. No! What the hell? No! Leave her alone! This is it. Richard's big, ugly secret. The sum of all his demons. Richard, your father forgot his knife. You'd better go and bring it to him. <sighs> All right, I'll play along. For now. Father, you forgot your knife. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. You know what? Why don't you keep it? But it's your lucky night. And now it's yours. You'll need it. I'm leaving tomorrow. What? No! But where are you going? The army is heading out west. And I'll be going with them. But... No! I don't want you to go! I don't want to go either, son. But sometimes, what we want 
isn't what's important. Do you understand? I... When will you come back? Take care of your mother, Richard. You're the man of the house now. Those tentacles are guarding something. We need to get rid of them. By the sweat of your brow. You shall rise, and you shall fall. Till you return to the earth from which you came. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. Richard. Bet you can't catch me. What? Hey, wait up! Come on, Richard. My arms are getting tired. Almost done. Come on, Slowpoke. this means to me. Where'd you go? Rose? Over here! There you are! I was afraid you'd get lost in there. Me? I've been waiting here for ages. I was starting to get bored waiting for you. Hey! Hey, you see that? The storm is coming. It's a big one. We should probably go. Same spot tomorrow? I'll be there. <laughs> cute, Richard. Real cute. So, where do we go from here? Feel something's not right. Mom, 
Who is he? He's... He's someone who can take care of us. But I can take care of you. I promised Dad I'd protect you. I know, honey. And he would be so proud of you. But sometimes, a brave heart is just not enough. Hey, come here. I need you to do something for me. I need you to bring me that thing. You know which one. Yeah, real specific. Oh, what? You want a bedtime story? I'm not your goddamn mother. chooses tobacco anyhow. Real fucking charmer, that one. Oh, you little shit. I'll teach you some respect. you do to me? <laughs> Stay back, or I'll cut you again. Ungrateful little fuck. Get the hell away from me. <sighs> Gladly. This place again, but not the same time. Richard! I should be going. I'm sorry. It's all right, Rose. We can finish some other time. Richard, where are you? H Hello? Richard, come out! Isn't fun 
Mommy! Richard! There you are. Oh, hey. I waited for you by the maze. I was afraid something happened to you. I'm fine. I feel like being alone. Are you sure you're all right? I said I'm fine. Hey, if something happened, you can tell me. Just let me... Get the hell away from me! Okay, Richard. I get the picture. Doesn't change a goddamn thing. Mommy? What's going on? Shh, shh, listen to me, Richard. Listen to my every word. Some men will come to our house tonight. But why? What do they want? It's okay. I told them to come. The hell is this? No! Stay away from me! Stay back! Get away from me, you bastards! No! No! Let go of me! No, please don't! Yeah! Any son of Poland who collaborates with the oppressor. Um, denounces or otherwise acts against his compatriots. Commits an unforgivable crime that against the motherland. Oh, I shall be swiftly punished. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. This is getting tedious. Rose! Where are you? I'm sorry.
Here, kid. Please, mister, I need help. The monster, it's after me. Monster, you say? And what does this monster look like? Sir, there's no time. Hurry, we have to get out of here. It's okay, Richard. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? Do I know you, mister? Are you one of my stepfather's friends? No, kid. <laughs> I'm not planning on making any friends here. I'm here just for you. No! What? No! Don't come any closer! Don't touch me! Sorry, kid. I know you tried to run, to hide. Get your hands off me! But as long as you're here, the beast will always find you. Richard. It was pretty overwhelming at first. Thomas being like me, but different somehow. I guess I don't have to tell you. <gasps> oh. 
Thomas? Who the hell are you? Beast. Oh. That's what he Hunting. Oh, His whole life hiding. Hoping they wouldn't find him. I gave him shelter. I gave him purpose. to rot in this godforsaken place. Mm. I got my scent girl. You're him. Richard. I'm what's left of him. The bleeding wound. The sand drying on the stump. Like the girl who suffered because of you? The one you preyed upon? She came to me because she had nowhere else to go. Where was her father then? Where were you? Oh, shut up! Stop acting like you ever cared about her! She was the light of my life, the warmth of my soul. Your soul has rotted away. There's barely anything left. And now, it's just your sins. I almost feel sorry for you. You're nothing. I am, but I... You ripped me apart. You burned me down and left me in the dark. He's a fiend. A monster. Thomas, what is he? He's the one who butchers the soul, the one who breaks it. But you, yes, I know you. You can set me free. I can feel it. Please, do it. You don't deserve it. You deserve nothing. Nothing! Do you hear me? Then give it to me, please! Do not exist. That's all I want. So be it. Do you think she'll ever forgive me? Will you? I'm not your judge. I'm just the fairy man. Be gone! Richard. This time, it wasn't just a feeling, it was a memory. Had I been here before? Was I a part of the puzzle? This man, Thomas, was he a part of my own past? And then, something clicked. That girl, it's me. But it looks like it was taken here, at Neva. The red house. 
Whatever it is, I can feel it out there. Like it's calling out to me. There. In the woods. No, don't put him on. I'm still at work. Just tell me if he's okay. All right. Tell him I'll be back soon. Hmm. This one felt... subdued. Like if someone lit a match in a giant freezer. It sounded familiar somehow. Something from my early childhood, maybe? Was it even a place? Or something else entirely? from the inside. These animals, they look used up. Like something's Scared 
the shit out of me, little buddy. What you got there? Oh, hey! Wait! There I was, following my new best friend, hoping he wasn't as lost as I was. I remember thinking he could lead me to his owner. In a way, I guess he did. Shaving tools, towels, Greece? Everything an elegant Sasquatch needs. What's wrong, buddy? Ah, oh, let's see what we got here. Yummy. There you go. Eat up, champ. Hold on, boy. Just need to check something. Oh, it's just clothes left out to dry in the middle of the woods. I know, right? What is it, boy? You want to show me something? You catch a scent? Hey! Anyone in there? What's wrong, boy? Is someone in there? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hello? I wish I could see you again. I miss you. So much. Oh, why did I stay? Why did I let it out? They're all dead. Because of me. What the hell? And I'm still here. I shouldn't be. Hey. <laughs> you alright in there? You shouldn't be here. I can see you. That's him. After they closed down the resort, did he just stay behind? What is it, boy? Was he your friend? He looks... drained. Rotted out from within. Just like those animals I saw earlier. Easy. I'm not done here yet. Hmm. It's 
still warm. Easy boy. What is it? Oh God. It's that thing again. No! Stay! Francis. I warn you. But then I outgrew him. Why him not? I warn you. Nothing fits. What? Who's there? You promise. No risky stuff, eh? This isn't real. It can't be. Jack? Is that? No, it can't be.
You're not him. You're not him. Where have you sent me? I... I've helped you pass on. I shouldn't be here. It's all your fault! Jack? It's too late, Marianne. It's all over. It all ends. In me! What did you do? You sent them away! Into the dark! Okay, Marianne. This won't hold it for long. Move your ass. generator. Wonder if it still works. Of course it doesn't. I think it's out of gap, locked down tight. I think there's a lever missing.
At least this could come in handy. Hoping you could tell me. Hmm. Sadness. Hmm? I need you to focus. Hmm. Think back to as far as you can remember. What do you see? 
Is this a game? I'm afraid not, hon. This is important. Listen. I know what Richard did. Was he the one keeping you here? Marianne! It's okay. I've sent him away. He's gone forever. Lily. Lily? Lily. That used to be your name. Do you remember? All that's happened. Your father. You remember him? Uh, I, I remember. Uh, mommy. Oh, she was so pretty. But, but so sad. Just like you. It must be nice to remember your mommy. I never met my parents. They... They... We were in an accident when I was very little. I was the only one who made it. It was really lonely without them. I... Uh, I know what that's like. Ever since my friends... This is a lonely place, Marianne. I shouldn't be here. Maybe you'd be better off somewhere else. Maybe I could send me away. No, Marianne. I can't leave. Not yet. But why? Aren't you afraid of the monster? I am. But it doesn't need me anymore. It, it wants you. And when, when it breaks you, when it puts you on, it, it'll finally be able to leave this place, but it, it will never be full. It will never stop killing. Then let me send you away, so we can both leave. Now that you remember who you are, I can... No, Marianne. It's not just about me. It's you. You have to remember the dream, the fire, the red house. What? Wait! What is the red house? You were there, Marianne. With me. You were always with me. I'm so sorry. Lily? Oh, shit. Gone. Just when I thought I could finally send her away. Thomas? I really hope you're still out here. I'm running out of options. Now, here's a hard-working man who could probably use a well-deserved smoke. It's Francis, right? Uh, excuse me, but, uh, who are you exactly? Oh, well, just a guy looking to do the right thing. I imagine some would call me a patriot. Are you a patriot, Francis? Patriot, huh? I imagine others would call you something else entirely. All right. 
right, Richard? It's just you and me. We're gonna have a nice chat. Hey. Hey! He really messed you up, didn't he? In ways no one else could. He tried to get to Richard, too. Didn't realize he was no longer there. For this little girl? Um, I'm sorry, but, um, father doesn't like it when I talk to strangers. Smart man. He's the manager around here, right? Would you happen to know where he is? I'd love to have a word with him. Go away! Or I'll scream! Clever girl. Thomas. You were here. This was your place. What the hell happened here? July 27th, 1983. The Gemini case. The investigation is moving along, but I think Rekovich is starting to suspect something. We need to move fast. Tonight's the night. So they knew about Thomas. But how much, exactly? And who the hell were they? Well, you're one to talk. This was your bright idea. No, they're already on to us. That son of a bitch is one of them. I can feel it. Fine, we'll make sure. Come on. It's almost on. One of them. Who are you running from, Thomas? The power's out. Oh, hey, a eunuch. Someone's got good taste. This looks like it could lift a pound or two. It's missing a handle, though. What's 
this? The Red House? It was then I knew. This was the place. The answers were right in front of me. Buried among the ashes. There's gotta be something left. When you hear them squeal and you smell their bodies burning, you tell me everything. You beg me to listen. God. There were children inside. Was she? You think you're so special? You burn just like the rest of us. Oh, Jesus. Who the fuck is that guy? Okay, let's see who you really are. You fuck. Come on. So tight, huh? You wanna give it a go? Be my guest. Nah, this one's all yours. I'd like to think I'm more of the brains of the operation. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we? More of that. Yeah, or two, I guess. Right. What do we have here? Fuck. I knew he was trouble. Security service. That little shit. That's no way to talk about a government agent. Comrade! <laughs> <laughs> Messing with a kid. Oh, but I do. I've spent a lot of time getting to know you, Thomas. In fact, you're kind of a pet project of mine. Oh, yeah? What's my speedo size? <laughs> Funny guy. Oh, I love this one. You like it too, comrade? Fuck you. <laughs> Let's play a game. It's called. What makes Thomas tick? So, the Nazis found you in Warsaw when you were, what, three years old? Oh, they were gonna kill you, but they didn't. No, they saw your potential and wanted to harness it. But then... The war's over. In comes the heroic Red Army. And... They locked me up for years. Fucking savages. <laughs> they do important scientific research. Find out what it is that makes you... 
trash on. And what is that exactly? Ask your mom. <laughs> you enjoy it, don't you? Oh, hurting people. Like those scientists! What were you? Eighteen? I saw the photographs. I know how to make a man hurt, but I gotta say, I wasn't impressed. Stick around. I'll give you a live demonstration. And there you were, free at last, but always on the run. And look at you, you almost made it. But you had to use this power of yours again, and on who? On your best friend, Richard. You had it coming. Yes. yes. Oh, no, you wanted revenge, I understand. I would do anything for my child, too. Leave my children out of this. Children. Yes. How much pain would you endure to keep them safe? What would you sacrifice for them? Your freedom, maybe? Let me go, you piece of shit! That's what I thought. I'll let you go. But first, I want you to tell me all about these powers of yours. Then earn it! Come on! Enough of this sissy shit! Hit me! I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Get some rest, Thomas. The next time you wake up, the real pain begins. Wake up, sleepyhead. Time's running out. What did you do? Here. No! You're sick! Fuck! Let me out of here! Let me out! Oh, you're still in there, Thomas. Will you show me now? I will, Conrad. Finally. I thought he'd never give us a chance. Okay, gotta move fast. Thankfully, this place has a way of messing with the time flow. I still got a chance to save them. All work and no play, are you, Henry? All right. Let's see what makes you tick.
There you are. At least the part of you I'm after. Do you know why you're here? I'm not playing your games, Henry. <laughs> Don't call me that. The agency was led to believe you've been stealing meat from the working people of the Republic. Where would they get that idea, I wonder? <laughs> you've been a very bad boy. Let's just get this over with. Given your line of work, you had ample opportunity to commit your crime. It is a crime against the people. Punishable by death. Anything to say in your defense? I'm sorry, Henry. Don't you hide from me! Bad boy!
That's good. See how easy it is when you do as you're told? You want me to feel sorry for you, Henry? Let's see how that works out. Vilk, is it? Henry Vilk? What's this about? Straight to the point. No fear, no hesitation. If you wanted me dead, I'd be dead already. So, what do you want? I want to offer you a job. I'm listening. I've been doing this a long time. I've come to know people. <laughs> See what makes them tick see their potential. Agreed. On one condition. Huh? The work I do for you, it stays at work. That's the way we like it. It has to. If it doesn't, I'm holding you down. Welcome to the family. Ever heard of Neva? What's this?
Not good. Can't get me up here, can you? There. Got you right where I want it. Time to put you out of your misery. And stay the fuck down! Simon? Where are you, boy? Dad? Hey there, champ. Are you going away again? Daddy has to go to work. Once I get back, I can go fishing. You'd like that, wouldn't you? I don't like it when you go. I know. But sometimes Daddy needs to work. It's good for all of us. You understand?
is it. You made it. You're just in time. That's right, kid. Just come to me. I'll put an end to it. I'll set you free. No, it won't let us leave. The monster, it's... Don't worry about the monster, kid. I'll deal with it. I'll put it down for good. Not if it puts you down first. What did you say? Remember? It's him. It was always him. Tried to kill us. What did you do to her? What did you do to Lillian? I was already dead. Your father made sure of that.
have time to clean it up. Once and for all. Thomas Rekovich. My father. Was he the man on the pier? The man with the gun? The murderer from my dream? How could he? Why? I needed to know what happened after the fire. What happened to them? To me. Okay, Marianne, focus. This was your home once. There's gotta be something here. All right. Let's see what's on the flip side of this place. It's so cold. Strange, it's like feelings etched into the wall. Why do I feel that's not all you are? Hmm. All burnt up, but I can still make out some of it. The dollhouse. It's open. A family photo. It's sad to see it like this. Left behind. Forgotten. Oh, it looks like a replica of the actual house. Hmm. A tiny mirror. I wonder. Hmm. Strange. It feels like something shifted. Another photo. Somehow it feels wrong to just leave them lying around. I feel like I should find somewhere to put it. I think that's it. The Rekovich family history. I knew it. The dollhouse, the mirrors, 
It's all connected. This room feels very familiar. Hey, another one of those butterflies. Feels like it's pushing me out. Like it doesn't want me here. Wait. I don't think this belongs here. What is this? A tea party with the devil? I know. I understand. I can feel your pain. What the hell? Were those the friends Satinus talked about? I don't think I can cut through. I don't need her! She took my mom away from me! I hate her! I wish she was dead! Lily, I... No, it was not my fault! What the hell's happening to me? Hope that's the last of them. Locked. Four slots. I guess that means four butterflies. Save yourself. 
Let me help you. What about her? Leave her. Let her burn. Oh, God. It's three. This place is like an emotional graveyard. Understand. Make them feel what it's like. But, but I can't leave her here. She'll die. Good. Remember, Mommy. It's all her fault. No, no, no. She's my sister. Then set me free, and I will save you both. Ah! Shit! God damn it. That thing. It came from her. Bought its way out with our lives. Lily, she... I need to find her. Tell me about the fire, Lily. You were locked in, alone? No. We were not alone. No? Who else was there? The voice. Um, I, I didn't invite it. But it came anyway. Oh, Lily. Where's Marianne? She needs to stay at the hospital a while longer. Will she be alright? I want to see her. She's asleep, honey. The doctors aren't sure when she's gonna wake up. I was in a coma. That's why I couldn't remember anything. Listen, you have to come with me now. Daddy? Wh where are you taking me? I'm sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. Thomas. What the hell did you do to her? But I can still make out some of it. A lot of love was put into this. But 
there's sadness, too. Jesus, this thing is serious. Looks like it's military. Solid steel, combination lock. For a pound. thing. Some sort of a fallout shelter?
Maybe I could pump out the water from here. Yes, it's on. Okay, I can probably get to the first tank now. Now it's ready to gulp down some water. So glad you're here. All the others. Not enough. Never enough. Never full. Never warm. And her. Uh, old. Worn out. Run! You. Cut from the same cloth. Both retention tanks are closed off. Maybe I could get down there and open them manually. So much up there for us to see. For us to wear. <gasps> Can't go on like this. Alone. Naked. Just let me wear you. We'll walk this world together.
looks like a way out. But it's half underwater. Ah, the lower levels are flooded. I'm not much of a diver. Valve is missing. Please be around, Valve. Yes. Agent Cutters to the rescue. Hey. That's my way out. Once I dry it up a bit. That's it. Second tank ready for duty. Pretty, pretty donuts. So many dolls to play with. Such pretty things to wear. Lumiere, Francis. Nurse Ursula. And him, the only one to get away. But they don't last. They never last. Mm, but you will. Chambers open. Get your ass down there, Marianne.
Here, I can feel it. No, don't do this to me. Vitamins, antibiotics, neuroleptics, antidepressants. Even by my standards, that's a lot of pills. This was definitely Lily's place, where he kept her. Imagine being locked up in this place, having a needle shoved into your arm day in, day out. You didn't deserve this, Lily. Again with the salt. The whole room is lined with it. Little windows into the world. It's something, I guess. Sunshine doesn't really translate to text, though. <sighs> She'd be a grown woman by now, but the room is still all dolls and unicorns. Quite the selection. So she could doll herself up with no one to see her. Maybe he meant well, but somehow this just feels sadistic. Ah, oh, yes. Busted open. From the inside. Burnt to a crisp. Guess I should look for a spare. Ah, oh, shit. Too much power. I know this one. Used to be one of my favorites. Nice decor. Very, uh, minimalist. Huh. Mold. It looks pretty fresh. 
Someone's been here recently. Hmm. If I find enough pieces, I might be able to get to the other side. Better get to it, Alice. Okay, here's one. So far, so good. There, another one. Looks like he could never quite let go of his passion. In another life, perhaps. This should be enough. Let's make magic happen. This was definitely Thomas's workspace. Sense the determination. Whatever he was working on, he really gave it his all. Were you trying to send the monster away? Or to get your other self back? And there it was. The moment we finally met. Spend years in Henry's fucked up world. Oh, yeah. When you. When you sent him away, I could. I could finally break free. That's why you're so important. You can finish this. Where is he? Where is my father? I, I don't know. I... Time in my life, I, I I don't feel his presence. I, I've been away for so long. I, I, I could 
Could you... Could you stay? For a moment? Tell me, uh, how I'm all this started. starts with a dead girl. about Lily. Did my father... This is where he kept her. That cell back there, it only exists in one world. It keeps the other one out. He built it so that he could be alone. It's the only place he could feel. Separated from his powers. From me. Came in handy once Lily became unstable. Unstable? What do you mean? She's a medium, too, Marianne. A powerful one. I guess it runs in the family. When Richard... When Richard hurt her... It awoke something inside her. Something... Something terrible. It was only a matter of time before it got out. It's what your father feared. What he tried to avoid. That's why he called me. But that means... Yes. She's still alive. There's still a way to save her. You have to find her, Marianne. Where is she? Where is my sister? I'm not leaving you! Oh, no. 
no, no, no. walked this path a thousand times in my mind. I know every inch of it. But this time, something is different. Close. I can feel it. I can feel it so clearly now. For you, little sister. Lily, I... I didn't know. I couldn't remember. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It was better that way. At least you had a life. day when the fire broke out at our house, I made a deal. The part of my soul that was tormented was set loose. You mean the monster? But why? To save you. It helped us escape the flames, but in return, I had to set it free. Free to devour, to destroy, to kill. An even massacre? Yes. All those people died so that we could live. And because I lived, so did my demons. Father knew my powers were too dangerous. He 
he left you at the hospital so you could have a normal life. And what about you? Did he try to... No. Maybe he should have. But he couldn't bring himself to do it. Instead, he locked me away. But he only delayed the inevitable. The monster, he got out. And now you're here. You're the only one who can fix this. You. We both share our father's gifts, but also his fate. And the dream. The dream? But all I see is a girl. You. Shot dead. Here, on this pier. Hasn't it already happened? No. It's not the past you see. The dream. It's what I want to have. can't send a spirit away while the host is still alive. That's why you couldn't destroy the monster. That's why Sadness didn't want to go. But... You're my sister. That's why it has to be you. I... I'm not strong enough. It... it won't let me. Only you can end this. Only you can fix what our father could not. Lillian, I can't. Please, don't I'm make me sorry. do this. It's the only way to destroy it. To prevent further bloodshed. Lily! <laughs> oh. Marianne? What's going on? Skin suit. Now to a There is another way. Marianne. No! What are you doing? It changes nothing. It's like you said. I'm your only chance. Aren't I? You need me. A medium strong enough to sustain you. The others? They only lasted for so long before you broke them down. Marianne, please. I don't want Maybe this. Maybe it's not your choice. Maybe this is my story after all. Ah! No! Stop don't it. do this! Please, sister. Set me free. No! Stay back. Stay back! It all starts with a dead girl.
voices, voices deep inside me keep calling, they're calling, voices, voices deep within me, they tease me, why can't I break free, voices, Whisper to me, someone make them go away. Voices walk beside me, hide behind me. Please make them go away. Someday I'll find my own. in my 